Good morning. Thank you for awakening the dawn with me. Here's more on that worldwide revival that broke out in 1905. In the West, great demonstrations marched through Los Angeles streets. United meetings pulled crowds of 180,000 people. The Grand Opera House in Los Angeles was filled at midnight with drunkards and prostitutes seeking salvation. The spirit fell on a handful of men seeking God for revival and meetings broke out in the Azusa Street Chapel, which ran unending day and night for three years. Healings and miracles drew crowds from all over the United States and around the world. For three hours a day, business practically stopped in Portland, Oregon, while salesmen joined with their customers in prayer in the downtown churches. 200 department stores closed by agreement from 11 to 2 p.m. This 1905 awakening could well have added more than five, maybe 10 million new converts to American churches within the first decade of that century. The largest U.S. denomination of those days, the Methodists in Review, declared that the revival had, quote, sparked the public conscience, overthrown corrupt officials, crossed party lines, and elected governors, senators, assemblymen, mayors, and district attorneys of recognized honesty. The people of Philadelphia threw the rascals out and put in a dedicated mayor. Why couldn't this happen again? Why not now? Our Bible reading today is Acts chapters 24 through 26. So in this passage, we see the Apostle Paul time after time coming before his accusers to make a defense of the gospel. In chapter 26, he tells the story of his encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus. So starting at verse 15, we'll read here. And I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But rise and stand on your feet, for I have appeared to you for this purpose, to appoint you as a servant and witness to the things in which you have seen me and to those in which I will appear to you, delivering you from your people and from the Gentiles to whom I am sending you, to open their eyes so that may turn, they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are being sanctified by faith in me. Let's pray. Lord God, we know that there will likely be days ahead, maybe soon, where we will need to defend our faith. Give us the wisdom of Paul and the infilling of the Holy Spirit to boldly and powerfully declare your word. We pray for those who would persecute us. Reveal yourself to them in such an undeniable way that they would, they would be gloriously converted to serve you like, like Paul was. Use them and us to open the eyes of those in darkness so they may turn to the light from the power of Satan and toward God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are being called sanctified. Lord, we know it would only take one or two totally surrendered hearts to spur a great revival. Why not me, Lord? Use me. Will you let the Lord use you? In Jesus' name, amen. Talk to you next time.